Welcome to Real Talk Real Women. My name is Miriam Kalari and today we have worldwide online trainer, a holistic health coach, fitness expert, bikini model and personal trainer Andrea Smith on the show. Welcome Andrea, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're most welcome. <laughs> so, you suffered from an eating disorder called sleep eating. Now, I know a lot of our viewers will have heard about sleepwalking, but what is sleep eating? Sleep eating um, was something I never heard of before I had it either. Um, it is a disorder where you actually sleepwalk, but you're actually intaking food while you're doing it. Um, and with me, it was a little different. Um, some people have recollection that they're doing it. Um, for me, I had no idea. Um, it was it was really weird. Um, I had been suppressing a lot of feelings that I had I thought were just normal feelings, like every teenager does. And um, my parents were like, Andrea, something's wrong. You know, you're you're getting up in the middle of the night. I can hear you, but do you know you're doing it? And I said no. And they finally asked me, well, I guess my dad stayed up one night, and he said, um, Andrea, do you remember talking to me last night? And I said, no. Um, and he's like, well, you're eating as well. <laughs> he goes, and then you cleaned up everything. And I was, I kind of looked at him, and I was like, I don't believe you. <laughs> like, it was kind of one of those things. And he's like, okay. He's like, but I, I think you need to think about this. And I said, okay. Well, a few weeks later, I actually ended up doing all the dishes in the sink, um, doing all my laundry, and I ended up eating a whole box of Debbie cakes of my dad's. And that's when I, I kind of took it upon myself to call a therapist, and she started doing testing, um, trying to figure out why I was doing it. And she came to the conclusion that it was the suppressed feelings, that I just needed to open up more, be honest with myself and everyone else, then it took a little bit to um, kind of get over it. And I don't think I ever will fully get over something like that. But it really is just consuming food while you're sleeping. <laughs> I know, a long answer for what it is. but yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. You were an aesthetician and we're preaching it, uh, to your clients that if they wanted a healthier skin, they needed to live a healthier life, knowing that you could do better too. How did that make you feel? Um, it made me feel actually pretty empowered, I guess, because, you know, when you're telling your clients you need to be drinking this much water a day and you're not doing it yourself, it's kind of like, I don't know, it, it kind of made me feel bad, but then in a sense it was empowering because I knew if I could change, so could they. And that made me feel really good. So step by step, I think it was like a learning experience for my clients and myself. Right. At first, like most people, you looked for a quick fix and cycled between dieting and gaining weight. At some point, you realized that you had to refocus your mindset for any change to happen. This was a very powerful realization that a lot of people skip over. Can you explain why the mental aspect to it is, is so important? Um, I think when you're trying to find the quick fix, um, as everybody wants, you don't realize that you have to grow as a person. Um, with the change that your body's going to make. Um, and you have to go through those steps in order to become that person that you're going to be. Um, and it takes hard work and it takes a lot of tears and it, it takes a lot of just emotion because that's what weight loss is. That's what I found that it's connected to is very, very high emotions. And if you're not ready for that, it's not going to happen in the time that you want. So it's kind of just a, you have to be ready to make the change. No one can force you. You adopted a healthier lifestyle and went from 176 pounds to losing over 50 pounds and feeling healthier and happier. First of all, congratulations, Andrea. That's a tremendous accomplishment. Thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. And you speak about the fact that you were more grat gratified with what you have gained than the weight you have lost. What have you gained and what can you share around this experience? Um, I think what I gained is confidence in myself. Um, it's more of a self, self-reliance thing. I've always had it, but I, I found it. Um, and I guess that's a way to put it in a better stance is you have to, when I was looking for my answers, I was looking for happiness and 
I always had happiness all around me. I just couldn't really enjoy everything that was there to offer because I wasn't happy within. So when I lost all the weight, it wasn't even the weight that made me happy. It was the fact that I felt good from the inside out. And I think that's what was more empower empowering to like my friends and my family because they actually seen the person I had always been, just a happier person. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. And on your journey, you tried utilizing goal setting uh, to accomplish your transformation. Can you talk a little bit about how you decided to compete for a pageant and how that went? Um, well, I did the pageant right before I had started my journey um, with fitness because I, I had no idea what the right answer was when I was doing pageants. And I thought that would have been the answer for me um, was to try to compete again. And at that time, I was I was a cardio junkie, which was not healthy. <laughs> That's all I did. Um, and I probably ate way too low of calories, um, looking back now, because I eat, I eat twice as much as probably anybody else in my whole family. But um, it was funny, because I wasn't nearly as fit as I am now, training for that. And I think that's my realization now, is if I could go back, I would do a lot more weight training and a proper amount of cardio, not all cardio. Right. <laughs> and then, of course, just supplement with the right nutrition. And at some point, you discovered fitness magazines and Tosca Arena's book. Tosca also has been on the show and she's amazing. That led to you embarking on your real journey towards a healthier self. What was the first thing you did? Um, it was actually Kelsey Byers' his story in Oxygen Magazine that helped me. Um, it was really funny because I was actually, it was right before my wedding and I had, I was looking through these magazines and I was like, I just wish I knew what to do. And um, I came across Kelsey's story and Kelsey Byers, of course, she's on your show as well. And I was reading it and I was really intrigued and I decided to reach out to her. And, you know, it was, it was a long shot for me. I was like, oh, this, I hope she answers. But if she doesn't, I understand. I know she's probably busy. And she replied very quickly. Um, and I actually broke into tears the day that she replied. And she gave me all the answers I had ever wished for. Um, and it wasn't even the answers. It was the, it was the knowledge behind it. And she, she offered up Tosca Reno to me. And she said, you know, look her up. Do all your research on it look up the, you know, the Eat Clean Diet, and I was, you know, I had never heard of it up till then. Well, when I embraced everything and I, I took it all on, it took me three months before I started actually seeing probably the most impactful results, because I was seeing little changes, but not enough. And I couldn't believe what e eating clean truly does for your body. It, it changes everything about the aspects. Um, it just makes you feel better from the inside out. And I couldn't believe it. So now I'm like, I have all her books. They sit in my little shelf over here. And um, if I ever need recipes, I just, you know, I look them up. And I just can't believe how impactful her, her whole plan and journey has been to everybody around the nation. Amazing, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the months that followed weren't, weren't too easy, were they? What kept you going? They weren't too easy. I um, I actually got really sick and I had to have my gallbladder removed. Um, and then I actually had stones in a salivary gland in my mouth. Um, but I think what kept me going through it all was, you know, probably my fan page. Um, because everyone's looking up to you. You know, they're looking to you for motivation. But I think it was a positive attitude. I gained that through my journey. And it, it took a little bit to get there. But I can't live without my positivity now. It's kind of like an addiction. Um, they say negative um, breeds negative and positivity breeds positivity. And I think that's, that's empowering. If I can spread just a little bit of my positive to somebody, then everything's worth it. Yeah, and you're doing such a great job, Andrea. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and now you dedicate a large part of your time to inspiring, motivating, and helping others. What is the best advice you could give others who are struggling with their health or self-esteem? Um, the best advice I could probably give is don't give up on yourself. You are worth every bit of what you think you are. Um, even on days where you know you feel off, but 
you need to keep going because those small changes every single day, adding them all together is what's going to make the biggest change. And that's in yourself. And you have to keep going to reach that. So it's, I guess, just keep going, never stop. Right. Thank you so much. And then where can people go online to connect with you? Um, you can go to my Facebook page. Um, it's my public fan page, and it's under Andrea Smith Fitness. Um, or you can go to my website, which is www.andreasmithfit.com. Um, and then I also have an Instagram, which is Andrea Smith Fitness. So everything's pretty, <laughs> pretty under just Andrea Smith Fitness if you want to find me. Great. And I will make sure to put your links below this video. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're most welcome. Andrea, you've shared so many valuable uh, advice. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Is there anything else you would like to talk about today that you feel we've missed? No, I don't believe. And I, I thank you for the opportunity. I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much, Andrea. It was an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. My name is Miriam Kaladi. For more inspiration, go to realtalkrealwomenbook.com.